If some phrases in Chinese dialogue are literally translated into English, they may sound awkward or may not be understandable. Today, I invited my American friend Bo to discuss those phrases. I will first speak a sentence in Chinese style English, and explain what I really want to say. Then Bo will give a better version in idiomatic English. Hello, everyone.、Uh, I'm Jack, and this is Bo. Hello. Hi, everyone. Now, first one, 熟了呃没熟。呃，放熟了没熟了，这个菜还没熟啊。呃、uh, uh, ，in Chinese we would say the rice is. Oh, don't laugh. <laughs> Why am I laughing? I'm so sorry. Okay. Okay.、Uh, in Chinese we would say、uh, the rice is not ripe.、Uh, I'm still cooking it.、Uh, um, so、uh, what would be the proper way of saying that? <laughs> But okay, stop laughing. All right.、Uh, okay.、Uh, how would you say it in English? I would、um, probably say the rice is not ready yet, and as if referring to the rice is not ready to be eaten. Because、mm. if you use the word ripe, that's generally used to refer to fruit not being ready to pick, or ready to harvest, or ready to eat. The word ripe usually refers to fruit. Yeah, ripe is not a good word. No.、Uh, Yeah, we 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 say in English,、uh, the rice is not done, or the rice is not ready to be eaten.、Um, the rice is not cooked. Right, right.、There's、many ways of saying that. All right. Um, next one, 辛苦了辛苦了 So literally it means、uh, tired, or it has tired you. So,、uh, for example, um. If you want to acknowledge、uh, your colleague's、uh, effort, uh, you, you are a team, and、uh, he has done something good.、Uh, he has contributed a lot to the team. And in Chinese, we would say it has tired you.、Uh, it's tiring for you.、Uh, all right. So in English,、uh, what would you say? Well, I think instead of saying you know it's tired you, I would probably. Depending on the the dialogue, would probably say it's perhaps it's been difficult for you,、mm, or、um, you know I hope it, it, if you want to get really、um, informal about it, I hope this hasn't worn you out. You know that's、okay. a good example of something that's you know a way to put it that's very informal. Worn you out. I hope it hasn't worn you out. Okay. Yeah, so this is similar to Chinese version, right?、Um, or we could say appreciate、yeah. your effort. Or,、um, thank you very much. We simply say thank you. Yes. Right. Okay. So next one, how simple.、Uh, so literally means happy, very happy.、Uh, for example.、Uh, If your co-students or your classmates don't have to take extra classes in summer, and in Chinese we would say, "You are so happy you don't have to take extra classes in in summer." So, okay. So, what would you say in English? I would probably say, "You must be very happy that you don't have to take extra classes."、Mm -hmm. um, I think that if you were to say, "You are so happy." Then that would probably show an undertone of control that you would not want to project upon that person. In other words,、right. you're kind of putting words in that person's mouth. If that makes sense.、Mm -hmm. I would,、mm -hmm. I would say, yeah, you're, 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 you're bound to be happy、uh, that you don't have to take those classes. You, you must be so happy that you don't have to take classes. Yeah. Sort of thing. Yeah. So I noticed they used the must or you're bound to. Uh, in Chinese, we would just say,、uh, "You are so happy." So, in English, we add "must," so it doesn't sound so patronizing.、Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you are guessing, or you don't assume that you know the、right. other person's、uh, mood or 
whether they are happy or not. Mm -hmm. There's another way of saying that uh, you are lucky. You are lucky. Yes. You don't have to take extra classes. I'm so happy for you. Right. All right. Next one. Uh, uh, for example, 真不好意思啊，怎么能让你请客呢？ Uh, I am so embarrassed. It's so embarrassing. How can I let you buy me dinner? So that's uh, the way we Chinese would say that uh, when somebody is trying to buy you dinner and uh, you try to be polite. And you would say, oh, it's embarrassing. Mm, I can't let you buy me dinner. Uh, so in English, what would be the uh, um, way of saying that? And, you know, obviously you would probably begin with, you don't have to buy me dinner, mm -hmm. or you may you want to, to add an emphasis word, well, you certainly don't have to buy me dinner, mm -hmm. or if it's a situation where you left your wallet at home and there's no choice but for that person to buy you dinner, then, mm -hmm. you know, say, uh, you know, I'm very embarrassed, but, um, mm -hmm. you know, that kind of thing. All right, so I guess if you want to just be polite, mm -hmm. um, it's, it's not the case that you have left your wallet at okay. home. So if you want to just be polite and say, oh, are you sure? Are you sure? Absolutely, um, yeah. Are you mm -hmm. sure you want to buy me dinner? You, know, mm -hmm. you don't have to. You don't have if to. You're, but if you're certain. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, next one. Uh, 素质。这个人真没素质。乱出谈. Uh, so in, here's one. Uh, okay, I'll turn it out. <coughs> okay, so here's one scenario. So if you see somebody spitting and uh, smoking and uh, swearing and you think the person is... Uh, in Chinese we would say the person is uh, uncivilized or no quality, low quality, mei su zhi. Okay, so in English, uh, what would you say? The I think the proper phrase would be low class. Low class. Um, or no class, depending on how vulgar they are, you know. So no class is lower than low class. Right. Okay. Absolutely. And, okay, low class. And any other words to describe them? Um, if someone is behaving in an uncivilized manner or, you know, spewing things from their mouth that they don't need to. Um, if someone is saying things that are inappropriate or spouting things off that they shouldn't, mm -hmm. um, something that's a, a little judgmental, but we say it especially in the South, is they're just trashy. You know? Ooh, okay, that's so, powerful. Okay, yeah, that's trashy. It's, it's <laughs> one of those things. If the things that are coming out of a person's mouth are mm. that of trash, then, you know, it, it, it usually... In the South, people say that's just trashy. Trashy, okay. Not mm. necessarily the person, but, you know. Mm. Okay. Trashy, bad manners, no manners. Oh, those people have no manners. Mm -hmm. That's all for today. Thank you. Thank you.